One of my favorite hobbies of pastime is actually bickering with my fishmonger. The guy clearly knows his fish and I like to take him down a notch or two just to ensure that I get the best catch of the day. When I get a call first thing in the morning telling me that he's got the freshest sea bass I'm yet to get my hands on, my heart actually skips a beat because it gives me a chance to create my Mediterranean pan-seared sea bass. You need the freshest sea bass possible. Pair it along with a gorgeous assorted bell pepper medley and subtle flavors, but not forgetting a very robusty corn salad too. Call it a meal well done. Let's get to creating a little bit of this magic today. I'm so excited on the sea bass. Now while I cut the best part of the sea bass and I've cut them into large steaks or dance, I've reserved the head and the tail to create a Sri Lankan curry sometime during the week. However, this sea bass is so fresh that it actually is going to fall off the bone when done. But we have to get to creating that gorgeous, gorgeous Mediterranean spice rub. So out here I've got a teaspoon of cumin powder, a heaped teaspoon. And these are items that are readily available in most kitchens. So two and a half teaspoons of this gorgeous coriander powder, one teaspoon of black pepper powder, one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder and I want a bit, bit, bit of smokiness and spice coming through with some smoked paprika. So on an average about a teaspoon of smoked paprika going in and your spice rub is ready. We're just going to give the sea bass steaks a fine, fine sprinkle of some sea salt and don't hesitate because salt just allows it to work its magic in and we are going to take a little bit of this spice rub and sprinkle it on top, dab it down dry. I'm going to reserve just a teaspoon of this spice rub to go for the medley later. Sprinkle this, coat it on both sides and let your fish marinate in this dry spice blend on the side. You start off by creating this gorgeous, gorgeous bell pepper medley. So into a cast iron, I'm going to use at least about 20 mils of extra virgin olive oil. Allow it to get nice and hot and infuse two red chilies, fresh in nature, just so that they sizzle and sweat along with five cloves of garlic. You just want this to saute, scent that sharp aromas that extra virgin olive oil bring, along with two red onions cut into the largest possible dices. You don't want the onions to brown and stand out alone. You want them to cook along with the bell peppers. So in goes one red bell pepper cut into dices, along with one green bell pepper. Just allow all this to saute on the slowest possible simmer till they get that perfect sweetness coming through really well. As the onions and the bell peppers get to soften, you take about eight black olives, Kalamata olives preferably, just add them in to get that pecan flavor along with the rind of one lime, just to give it that burst of freshness. Saute this till it mixes really well together, imploring each other's flavors, but at the same time being through to a medley. Final garnish on this is some parsley, about three tablespoons of it. A quick saute and we're going to reserve this on the side to put it on top of the fish as we sear the fish really well. With this nearly done and as you switch the flame off, all you need to do is that reserved spice blend that you had, just sprinkle it on top, roughly about a teaspoon of it, a quick stir because you want the spice to exude their freshness and not get brown. So saute this and put it into a bowl now. Now while I'm a great fan of minimum washing so i'm using the same pan otherwise you can take a fresh one 
with nearly one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil because I want it to seep right into that sea bass. So with this nice and warm, we're just going to elegantly, I would say, layer the steaks in and allow them to cook on the slowest possible temperature, turning them around after a good four minutes on each side. Do not hesitate to use every last bit of that gorgeous spice blend. As we allow the fish to pan sear in that beautiful extra virgin olive oil, absorbing the heat, the intensity and the flavor, it's time to create that perfect smoky corn salad. So out here I'm going to use about a teaspoon of smoked paprika and I'm using smoked paprika raw out here because I want that flavor to be subtle yet sharp in the making. To that I'm going to add the juice of two lemons. Just give it a quick whisk and get that perfect earth brown color. Create a dressing out of this with about 20 ml of extra virgin olive oil. You just want that subtle flavor to merge with each other. As this is emulsified, final sprinkle of some sea salt and your dressing is ready just to dunk in everything. Into that sharp, sharp dressing goes in about 500 grams of American corn kernels with one green bell pepper cut into small dices, one red bell pepper cut into small dices and about five spring onions cut really fine just to give it that burst of green goodness. A quick tossing and your salad is perfectly ready to enjoy with the fish. Just toss this, check on the seasoning and if you want a little more freshness, in goes two tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro. I love this salad and this salad, though a salad in the making, can actually at times be a perfect midnight snack to binge on while watching some kind of Netflix. With the fish cooking on the slowest possible simmer for a good four minutes, I'm just going to turn them and allow them to cook on the other side. Don't be alarmed by the dark, dark auburn color. The flavors are sharp, strong, a scent of cumin with the sharp essence that pepper brings to this. With this gorgeous baby well cooked on the slowest possible heat and 8 minutes really does the trick out here. We are going to give it a flash of citrusy wonder with the juice of one lime. I'm just going to scatter it on it and allow it to get infused into the entire creation. Switch off the flame and it's time to plate. A simple white platter just makes this sea bass shine through and through and while it nestles on top we're just going to scatter the red pepper and the green pepper medley that we created. Just put a whole scattering of it and have it bursting with color, flavor and a whole range of textures. Quite a new age, new kind of way of creating this sea bass and it's a perfect, perfect meal when you pair it along with that corn salad. I don't think there's any better way to pair the freshest sea bass along with subtle yet sharp flavors of cumin, coriander, black pepper and not forgetting that smokiness that smoked paprika brings. A um, corn salad, slightly Mexican in nature, yet very Mediterranean with the freshness that cilantro brings to that. All you need to do is any reserved leftover olive oil with that splash of lemony goodness works 
perfectly to mop up along with this meal. I hope you enjoyed creating this. I'm thoroughly stoked to create this. The freshest sea bass coming together in perfect harmony. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. And as I always, always and always say, don't forget to subscribe.